I think I see you. You see me. Oh, I see you. I don't see through you, <laughs> but I see you. And I see you. You get a big hello from Thank you. The balloon individual. I believe that's Sap. Is that Sap? Uh, feel free to uh, give uh, me a name other than having to say your Instagram name if you'd like to. If you're a first time coming through, uh, this is Open Session Podcast. And, um, well, let's just put it this way. We like interviewing coaches and podcasters and people that got something to say, tell their story and a whole bunch of other things. And technically positive, informative, but mainly we goof off a lot. So um, <laughs> how you doing there, Heather? Excellent. Thank you. Uh, because I'm saying hello to two Heathers, because on the screen. Yes, it's you been, are. Yes, <laughs> I'm in an H2 factor right now. Hey, it doesn't get any better than that, eh, Hev? Hey, there's only there's only good people named Heather, right? Is that how that works? Of course. Yes, of course. Of course. Of course. And humble <laughs> and humble people too. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me brag about how humble you are. <laughs> uh, That's funny. You're, you okay there? Anybody I got to kick out that's over there? Anybody that's giving you a hard time? Oh, yeah. no. You know what, though? As bad as this is, because we're live, I didn't walk my water over to me. So let me just grab that, okay. everybody. Yeah, no that's problem. all right. No, no problem. I'll be right you, back. You go ahead and do right. that. I'm going to talk to Heather while you're gone, uh, because we are H squared. I like that, Heather. Um, do, uh, now, Heather, I have to ask. Now, this is the Heather that I'm talking to on screen, not my guest, Heather um balloons so you like balloons heather is that what it is i like the h square that's really cool uh h squared is good by the way um we are going to have a guest tomorrow on narc abuse tv network which is uh our other um show that we have um i kind of hesitated on that because narc abuse tv network has two shows on it uh from the rhythm entertainment productions um narc abuse tv network has the narc abuse tv show which we're going to have a guest uh, there tomorrow his name is scott he's a doctor and uh we're going to be talking about self-care and uh, we also have the coach jess show uh which deals with relationships recovery and resiliency uh her show is uh well uh produced by myself and directed by myself uh she is a coach as well uh, she now has a show on our network uh, the network is growing with uh, other people that will have shows as well. Today, though, we are on Open Session Podcast. Now that everybody got to hear that, because <laughs> my my beautiful guest, Heather, uh, went to, to go get some water. But we got some stuff on the screen already, Heather. So um, I'm just telling you, Heather is talking to us. We are now H squared, according to Heather uh, from SAF Balloons. She says, I have started a balloon business. A veteran uh, of the Marines, it says there. Hold on one second. I'm going to do some things here. Move my monitor over so I can see everything bigger. Uh, so I'm looking at the camera just in case it's your first time passing through. I'm looking at the camera of, of my guests, and I'm also looking just past that to a monitor that's uh, there and not all the other monitors that are here, but this one over here. Uh, now that I've uh, bought enough time for you to settle in, and uh, are you ready for this? Because Oh, yeah. I have okay. no idea what you're throwing my way. Oh, yeah. I, I, I know. love it. Like, <laughs> okay. yeah. All off right. the cuff. Let's, let's right. find out what happens. I love it. Yeah. That's why I yeah. like you. Off the yeah. cuff. And we did have a, a moment of joy before we ever came on because that was fun, just uh, doing a little practice before we, we got yes. here. Um, and yeah. you're welcome, uh, Heather. Heather, too. I'm just going to say Heather, too. Uh, my guest, Heather, is here. And then I have Heather, too, which is on the. Uh, on the screen in the comments. Uh, Heather, too, you're welcome. Uh, I'm, I'm glad you were able to tell us. You have a balloon business. I just have to ask this. Where is your balloon business? Uh, what area? Because we'll be happy uh, to promote it here as well. Um, okay, my dear friend, Heather, here we go. Here we Blueprint. go. Blueprint. Um, let's do this. I love the fact that you're, you work with individuals on a blueprint basis. And uh, a blueprint is something that, uh, well, how can I put it? Uh, let's just do this. A blueprint, the dictionary describes a blueprint, is uh, something that uh, is a detailed outline or plan of action. Uh, the synonyms for blueprint are master plan, a design, a layout, uh, uh, a building plan or an architectural plan, uh, a game plan, as it were. 
a draft. These are the areas uh, that you work in when you're coaching other people. You give them, as it were, based upon our show prep and what we talked about, you give them an architectural plan for their life, as it were, or uh, a building plan. Um, how yes. do you do that as a personal okay. coach and help people with their lives? All right. Wow. You're getting loaded right off the bat. I love it. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I, so I did a lot of fluff in between so that, you know, I would let you relax a little bit before we started. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. That's okay. That's okay. So realistically, as you're describing and all the synonyms and everything that you've just um, allowed us all to hear, to be very clear on what a blueprint textbook wise is, every single human has their own individual blueprint. So no difference than our, and we all know this medically, let's say, right? We all, or genetically, everybody has their own specific blueprint, no different than your finger fingerprints, right? No two are alike. So as a coach, I don't create any real blueprint for you. All I do is help you discover and rediscover the blueprint that can be yours, mm -hmm. you were born to have, um, what you desire to have, and then lay that out in a process or a formula or a blueprint for you to achieve and have like the best life absolutely possible that, that actually you and all of us are born mm -hmm. to have. So, yeah. So we call it the blueprint for success. Um, however you describe success as well, right? So, so many of us, as soon as we hear success, oh, that person's really successful. What's the first thing we think of? Money. But mm -hmm. success is, money is just that small percentage of it. You know, mm -hmm. when we really should be seeing success in people, it's what they consider for themselves what success and successful is. You know, if you have a friend that is just wanting to be a watercolor painter for the rest mm -hmm. of their life and they right. may not make any money at it, but every day they are so joyful and so happy and so relaxed and loving and and you know able to to be mm -hmm. like absolutely. I just say she's one of the most successful people in the world because she's been able to find and, and have and create and do everything that, that she, her life is, has, was intended to be so, like. So many, so. so many people find that they can't walk that path of having, as it were, a blueprint or, or as it were, live by a blueprint that they already have within because they can't find it. Because yeah. of things that have taken place, bad decisions, choices, a number of things, or the lack of solid, positive parenting, maybe even. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. A number of people that watch both of our shows here on Narc Abuse TV as well as Open Session Podcast come from the foster system or, or they uh, are children of divorce or of alcoholics. How can you walk us through, give us an idea of what you can do to help someone when they need to find their blueprint. Okay. The biggest, so this is also one of my uh, free workshops, which at the end of our session, I actually have posted in my, um, in my bio on Instagram, a link to a, a, a live, who are you? Find your way, mm -hmm. um, 45 minute sort of workshop. Wow. The most important, so for anybody that's watching, and I'll have it up till the end of the weekend, okay? So whoever's watching and wants to join me then the following Sunday on the 15th, we can do that. We're going to do it live. Um, cool. And uh, that way, too, it's literally taking you back to the beginning, how you were born. Who are you, really? Like, mm -hmm. that's where it all starts. All the other stuff to whatever age you are or whatever's happened in your life so far, whatever hasn't happened, the hurt, you know, the, the, the pains, the, the celebrations and some of the successes, you know, all of that afterward isn't defining who you are, mm. who you are never changes. 
it is what you are and it is how you were born. And that's what we figure out first. So literally that part of the workshop only takes 15 minutes. It's so easy to go back there. So as an aside, you know, I'd say to you, Paxton, Paxton, who are you? I am a little boy with shorts and run around on the grass barefoot. Love it. No, like, I really seriously, am. That's literally, I'm just saying. I just told you that's actually, literally who that I am. Was a really, that was like a <laughs> bomb it. answer. That was like the bomb. Like literally. I don't like wearing long pants if I don't have to. I like wearing shorts and I like being barefoot and running in the grass or in the sand at the beach. For sure. And no, I mean, I'm literally those, that little kid because that's literally. I get it. I, I totally get it. I wasn't giving you a hard time. I just wanted you to know that. I was no, literally. That's I who am. I am. No. And I'm loving it because that, to me, as a coach, speaks volumes. Like I could get into all of, you know, mm -hmm. your feet in the grass, your feet in the sand, what feelings that brings you, you know, all of the emotional, internal reasoning to use those descriptive words mm -hmm. to describe who you are, right? Majority, I would say literally 90% of people, um, and, and, you know, and I have this on the landing page before you get into the workshop, is... 20% of most people really would answer, I have no idea who I am. And then you get 20% that would say, I'm a husband, a wife, a mother, a yeah, brother, an aunt, yeah, you know, blah, 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 blah. That's right. not who you are, right? right? And then you get another 20% that are like, you know, I don't need anybody to tell me who I am. I know wow. who I am. And then you're like, wow. uh oh, I think you better come to the workshop if you're that person. <laughs> and then, you know, you get another twenty percent. You know, we need to try just... to find those people and get them to the workshop. Yeah, right. We need to find them, put them in the workshop. <laughs> uh, we got a little buffering here. Hopefully, you can still hear me and see me uh, uh, there on your end. I'm here. Uh, yeah, I'm here. Okay, go ahead. I got so, you. Back. And then, yeah, I got you. like I mean, the other twenty percent, they're just the easy flowers. They're game. They're like, okay, yeah, I'd love to find out a different way of seeing me. Right. So, so and 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 taking you back to really just who you are first mm -hmm. allo allows you to remember and realize no one person, no one thing, no one bad decision, no crappy boss, nothing. Nobody can ever take that away from you, right? right? Mm -hmm. If you lose your job, your identity's not gone. Your, your life's not yeah. over. Yeah. You, who you are, is still there, right? Or, and I know, you know, you, you have um, uh, Narc Abuse TV and we talk about narcissism mm -hmm. and stuff like that. The same. I've had that in my life. We still have that in our life. So mm -hmm. I get it. No one person can destroy you, right? So that, because you now know really who you are and that's yours. That's yours to keep and that's yours to keep forever. And that you got is some, I just want to tell you, you got some love on thing. I have to tell you, you got something on the screen. I don't know if you saw it. She's talking no, to I you there. No, I didn't see it. Okay, I so I'll read it. it to you. Uh, Heather on uh, uh, H2, <laughs> or since I'm dealing with two Heathers. This is a first, yes. by the way. Uh, so it's, uh, Heather says, I really like this, Heather, talking to you. Uh, this is a very mind-challenging concept of success. I feel like I would be successful if I would discover who I am. Uh, she also added, this is something I've always struggled with. Who mm -hmm. am I? Uh, that yeah. actually is a common theme, especially on my other platform, Narc Abuse TV uh, Network, the Narc Abuse TV show. Uh, people often uh, come into the lives and mention that um, it's something that people regularly struggle with that you've recognized mm -hmm. in uh, you're doing the work that you do. Absolutely. And, you know, again, therefore, once we figure out really who you are and you know, you ask questions like, I mean, if somebody just comes to me, I'm not jumping right in there. You know, I'm going to ask, you know, like, why are we here together? Right? Like, what's going on? You know, blah, 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 blah. Um, but eventually, even in that session, the very first session, or it might be even the second or third, then we're really figuring out, you know, let's get back to you. Okay. Because all of the situations or the stuff or the struggle that mm -hmm. you're bringing to yeah. have a coach help you work through all starts with how you are handling it, right? 
how you are choosing to deal with it, how you are interacting with it. So it's hard. It's don't get me wrong. Like it's all part of all of us wanting to make a change that are wanting to make a change. Right. So, um, so not not living off of someone else's concept of who we are, but literally, well, going back to the future, going back in time as it were mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to become these emotional detectives, history, um, researchers on ourselves. Instead of That's trying correct. to dissect someone else and what makes them tick, we need to know the, the fundamental foundation that makes us tick. That Absolutely. Could be challenging, huh? Be challenging simply because if we, we've never done it or we only believe what we're trying to pretend to be for everyone else, that means exactly. we have to take our own mask off if we're living behind one. Absolutely. And so like, as you've seen, you know, in my Instagram page and, you know, um, all about this mask wearing, this is where we end up losing it. Right. It's almost like we're awesome till we get to be about seven or eight. Right. We're awesome. Nobody, nobody, you don't even think you're not yeah, I like right. That. Every kid I like thinks that. they're awesome. Right. And then something happens. We go to school and then all of a sudden, you know, a bully. I, a bully. I was I was the bully kid. I'm yeah. I'm itty bitty. I'm petite, right? So don't think it's just you know I'm the chubby kid or what? Yeah, I'm still scared yeah. of you. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, um, it's you know I was the little kid because I was the kid that got put in the garbage cans, you know. But I oh, wow. think thank God or shoved in the lockers, you know, all those sorts of things. And really, it's. The, the bullying thing, you know, we could, that's another whole show, and I'm sure you've done lots of shows on it, but again. What do you think, hey, what do you think you're here for? Don't be trying to change the subject. Go ahead, start talking uh, about it. Yeah, ahead. No, 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 I know, but I had to change my, or, or finish my thought on that, that, right. that last one. So, um, see, now, now you got me, dude. Now I'm like, so, now so I'm when, in it, when bullying, it comes to so, taking the mask off, Yes. So the mask wearing is we start to learn how to shield yeah. how we're really feeling so that we fit in, right? Or others don't see us to either bully us. So those are, you know, younger years. And then you get in, in and I mean younger years to like high school. Yeah. And then hopefully by a university or college, if you're privileged enough to go, if you've been privy to go or that next stage of life, maybe it's mm -hmm. just you decide you want to work. That's great. Then we all sort of start looking around and want to fit into those environments, right? So we yep. create more shields, more masks. And yeah. the next thing you know, you got a bunch of 30, 40 year olds <laughs> going, what the heck's going on? Who am I anyway? Like I'm so on, I'm pretending to be happy. Hello. Welcome to the whole Instagram platform. Right. No, nobody's home. Ooh. And all of a sudden social, yeah. social media like, becomes your new high school. It becomes or, high school well, all over again. We hope it doesn't. Right. And you know, 1.1, 1. 1, Ooh, she must be so awesome. She's got 1.1 1. 1 million followers and yeah, on Instagram. Yeah. And it's like, it's all a show people. It's yeah. smoke and mirrors. Right. She's wearing, so she's wearing the letterman's jacket. She's wearing, Oh, yeah. she's, she's dating the, Oh man, the, and then the you know, uh, yeah. we can't sit at that table. Oh wow, we can't. It's just high school all over again. It it it's but it amazing. ends up it ends up being the cool kids that yeah. are not the cool yeah. kids, but it ends up being the other kids that become the cool kids. Uh, it's so true yeah. with social media. It's uh, it can become huge gaslighting by people who say that they're against gaslighting. Uh, it becomes oh, oh, it, it becomes yeah. the people who say, "Oh, narcissism is bad," are the same ones that said, "No, I don't want to help those people. They don't have enough followers. Uh, they can't help well, me." Exactly. So, and I mean, this is where too, um, for yourself, reaching out to people. You know, you you reach out to people that have great followings. You reach out to people <laughs> like myself that has a small following. It doesn't yeah. really matter. That that as well. Don't like I'm now. I'm not like selling myself, but don't sell no. anyone short on these platforms that don't have large followers. Oh yeah, absolutely. Very, I firmly be, I, like, believe that. I firmly I have experienced that. I've learned more from have people who have, Yeah, I I have learned more from people who have 200 or less followers than yeah. people that have millions of followers uh, or hundreds of thousands of followers or 20,000 followers. But it, it it comes into what you just explained to us. Uh, Heather and myself, and uh, if if uh, uh, Deanna is here as well, she's passed through Deanna one two one. Uh, I just want to say you've 
opened up a crack in the conversation about wearing a mask that it mm-hmm. it can come into play because of trying to fit in or maybe even as you said dealing with a bully survival and before you know it you just said it which is a great point somebody's in their 30s all of a sudden trying to figure out what's going on and they spend the next five well technically decade five to eight nine years going like what in the world is going on with me i just don't yeah. feel right well they yeah. haven't been feeling right for a long time for a long they've time. been trying to fit in and never really acknowledge that they just don't feel right and then they yeah. mask that not feeling right with alcohol pornography sleeping around j- hopping from job to job relationship to relationship I, I, wait let me get off my soapbox this is about you anyhow what were you saying no i no, but <laughs> I, just, like, I got into dad and mode. it doesn't Forgive even me. have to be yeah and it doesn't even have to be like they're all of a sudden doing like you know the crazy stuff no, it, could it could be that be, you're yeah. you're hiding in going to the barbecue and always having to just be the fun up one yeah. all the time yeah. right yeah. and it's just so not and you know that's not you it's almost like you take a deep breath before you walk in there going all right i gotta get on you know or i have to be on or yeah. they invite you because oh we can't not have you you're the fun one you know <laughs> and you're just like oh my god you know is this my it's job not, is this my yeah, job all of a sudden? Like, i gotta show up every time and make everybody happy yeah, uh, or gotta, it's not you know, who I am. It's yeah, not, and it, it doesn't fit in. Uh, right now, we've got uh, I, I've got to take a moment here, and uh, here we go. Uh, leave underscore no underscore contact underscore go underscore ghost. If you've ever crossed this platform or Narc Abuse TV, you know I have to do that every time because I'm addicted to saying that because it makes me happy. Again, I'm a little boy in shorts, <laughs> so. Um, okay. Uh, thank you for being here, one of our, our loyal, regular followers to, to our shows and supporter. Um, I, I just want you to know that in our show prep notes, uh, it, you did mention bullying. Um, mm-hmm. And I, I wanted to touch on that in this uh, okay, sure. kind of uh, scheduled, impromptu uh, blueprint for success workshop that we're kind of doing here. Uh, that's what I wanted to have with you uh, because okay. I know my audience and they like watching this uh, and that audience is growing that want to hear the types of things you're talking about right now. But I'm going to segue real quick before I, I, I we get into talking about bullying uh, is um, Heather uh, on screen, not my guest, Heather, Heather too, uh, says um, that she struggled with what we were talking about, who she is, uh, as many people do, as we all can come to that uh, aspect in our life. And she says, oh, yes, I made myself as invisible as possible until this year. I had a breakthrough. And I am 38. And then she says, yes, yes, yes. Yes. She she even says, yes, oh, my God, this is so validating. What what starts to happen with people is this, these, they'll have moments like this then, is what you're saying, uh, Coach. You're saying that people will have moments like this, that they will have a breakthrough. Yeah. So... And the breakthroughs are going to happen at different times within your life. It's just a matter of if you're going to really listen to yourself Mm -hmm. and do something with that breakthrough or what you're feeling is a breakthrough or that desire to embrace and make a change. And this is where myself more so that I niche kind of as a confidence coach Okay. It takes a lot of confidence to make the change, or it takes a lot of courage. Courage and confidence can go hand in hand a lot of the time. And, you know, v- making very clear that confidence and having a healthy self confidence or confidence about everything and anything, even just confidence about your decisions or confidence about anything in life, mm-hmm. has nothing to do with arrogance or anything like that. Like that, okay. you know, somebody who is a confident person that can walk into a room. Still, like, I consider myself a confident person, and believe me, I've walked this path. I lost my confidence in and around in the 40s. I'm 53 now. So I've done that whole sort of progression that I baby. talked about. You're still a baby for me. So, still, okay, still whatever, whatever. Baby. Anyway, uh, oh, yeah, no, I got lots of, years, <laughs> lots of years in me yet. But, um, you know, you, you, you walk that path, and did I hear myself? As Heather too, I'll call her Hev because I can say Hev. that. Okay, there we go. Hev. There you go. I, she's she's a Heather, so I can go Hev. 
even okay. if she hates it. I'm sorry, Heather, if you hate it. Um, <laughs> Don't bully her. I'm not bullying her. I would just, never. I'm, I'm teasing you. Love, Heather, love. Yeah. Um, completely that, you know, if, if I at 38, I know that yeah. I just wasn't ready yet yeah. to really, what I say, stand outside the circle and truly be myself. Wow. Because I wasn't ready and didn't have the confidence and the courage yet to really do that. So I stayed where I was comfortable. I stayed with what I knew. I stayed yeah. in something that I knew still wasn't exactly who I was. It wasn't going where I wanted. It wasn't the blueprint that when I put my head down at night and lie in bed and dream about the house or the, you know, being able to travel or where do I want to be when I'm technically retired or what, how old do I want to be when I retire? Right. I still stayed because, and that's what a lot of us do. We stay in this mode. We stay in this progression. We stay in this, uh, I'll say flow if it be a good or bad flow, right? Um, because it's what we know. Walking outside of what we know is the challenging part, is the courageous part, is the part that um, is where, you know, you will then find finally your feet on the ground, finally it, being able to breathe and be in your own skin. You can start to shed that suit of armor. Yeah. One of the biggest things is, and it's so true, and you hear it all the time, people aren't really talking about you as much as you think. Oh, yeah. They're talking about you, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, that's just your own head. <laughs> your you know, head. you might see two people talking at work, and one of them just by chance in that conversation gl glanced your way <laughs> in the office, and then you're like, oh, my God, what are they saying about me? Da -da -da. Like, they, they, girl, they're, not even thinking, they are, they're not even thinking they, about you. They didn't even see you, really. You yeah, know what I mean? Even see, oh, that's a good one. Didn't even yeah. see you. <laughs> they didn't even really see you. That person really, or could be totally staring in your direction in the office, Looking but they're right engaged. Yeah, totally. Or at the party, or at the barbecue, <laughs> wherever the, the gathering may be, right? You know, why or... Why are you looking at me like that? I did not yeah. to that person. Yeah. I, you know what? Or whatever. You know and what? Then, she never liked me. I don't. You know what? I don't like her either. <laughs> like, you know, so even what is that? Me. What is that internal dialogue speaking to, Paxton? Uh, I don't know, Coach. Tell us. It's speaking. <laughs> you were right on there. I love that. Hey, hey, it's actually you, you're a guest it's on, on the show. You... I don't, I don't have to answer it. I, I can play, I can play I dumb. I can play dumb, really good. Yeah. Okay, don't Go be ahead. total dumb. That was a good. That was that was good play off <laughs> on each other. I don't, I don't know, but, Coach. That's a, that's a lot of things come to my head, but I don't know what is it. <laughs> well, and I know everybody's sitting there going, well, of course, it's everything to do with me, right? Yeah. It's everything to do with me, my insecurities, my not really knowing myself, my not being confident in myself right now, standing in the office, in the job that I've taken. And why is that? So those are those are the things that we then discover together. And we, you know, from... First, really finding out who we are. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then you go into really figuring out what your purpose is in life. And that right now is the blow up on social media. All these coaches are talking about your purpose in life. What's my purpose? Purpose, 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 right? And, and, and this is where, too, finding somebody that you correlate with or that you can work with or personality you connect with is really important. Mm -hmm. But the other big thing is, too, is, you know, read what they have in their, in their Instagram. Read what they put with their pictures, okay? Read their content. Mm -hmm. If it's wishy-washy and they're really not still giving you anything, mm -hmm. you know, maybe they don't really know. I'm not, don't get me wrong. I'm not slighting anybody. Everybody has something of course to not. offer. Of course not. But. All right, when it comes to purpose and really figuring out your purpose, that's mm -hmm. what you were born with. That is innate. That we can figure out so easily again. And then from your purpose. So as an example, we end up boiling it down to a statement. What's my purpose? I'll state it as I would say it to myself in the morning. 
Okay, I get up and it's all part of my morning routine and I say my purpose statement. And my purpose is that with my honesty, integrity, humor, and love, I move people with feelings, then action, to discover that they can be, do, and have everything that this life intends for them to experience. Mm -hmm. That's my purpose. And it, your purpose doesn't necessarily always have to be something for somebody else. Mm -hmm. You know, your purpose is unique to you. And when you figure that out, it doesn't mean that I still haven't had another job. I've been in the hospitality industry for 30 years, right? Yeah. But while I was still in there, I ended up actually in training departments. I didn't even figure out my purpose then yet. I hadn't figured that out. But mm -hmm. I was in training departments because I knew just innately in me, I needed to interact with people. I wanted to be with people. I wanted to help people. I wanted people to grow, mm -hmm. succeed, change, you know, blah, 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 blah. So, um, that's all part of the blueprint and then we can lay it down. You know, we, we, you, we dissect it, we create a vision, we then create goals and, um, you know, where do you want to be in just a month from now? And it can be out of, I work with what, um, one of my other certifications is with uh, a really wonderful lifestyle program called ULA, ULA okay. lifestyle, um, mm -hmm. program. And it literally is just a lifestyle type um, program. And they concentrate on the seven F's of life. So first and foremost, finance, mm -hmm. fitness, your family, your faith, mm -hmm. friends, your field, being your career, or you could be still in school, and most importantly, fun. So many of us have forgotten how to have fun. Mm -hmm. Life is supposed to be fun and just joyous and have joy in everything that we do. I just so like the way you say the I word fun. I like the way you uh, say it again. Say the word fun. I just like the way you fun. say it. Fun? <laughs> no, 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 no. Come on now. Say no, it the way but you, it is. You say the it word is. fun in a very fun way. <laughs> but it is supposed to be fun. Like, life is supposed to be uh, fun. Like, you know, like, the, I've had is, a boss is, that calls himself fun. the fun factor, you know? Actually, yeah. life is fun because yeah. um, we get to meet people like you. Uh, and well, we get to we get to we get to be around people like you because you're highlighting that it's very important for us to have a blueprint move toward a purpose. What are some things that get in the way that you've recognized mm -hmm. that can get in a person's way when they're trying to move toward those things? What are some things that can get in the way? But before you answer that on the screen. Um, uh, Heather too says, this is so helpful. This is foundational. The universe steered me to this podcast. Oh yes, man. Don't be mad yes, at the universe. Then, no. uh, thank you both. Uh, I guess it's never too late to be fulfilled. Uh, no, it's never too late. Um, never too late. Uh, there's, I've met a lot of 90 year olds and 70 and 80 year olds that, uh, finally found their quote unquote purpose in life and, uh, made a dedication toward that. Uh, mm -hmm. so, when it comes to what can get in the way, I thank you so much too, by the way, Heather, uh, Saf Balloons, uh, for being here and participating mm -hmm. and uh, sharing with us uh, your thoughts and, and your feelings on what we're talking about. Um, what I was going to ask uh, is for some type of, uh, well, um, some type of direction for someone if they feel certain things are in the way. What are some of those things that can get in the way and how can a person kind of tackle those or go around them or, or for by themselves over those things so that they can go toward their blueprint and purpose? So the number one thing that gets in your way is you. We all get uh, in our own way mm, way too much. Hmm. How we do that is then I would need to talk to you further to figure out what you're doing, right? But 90% of the time, you just need to get out of your own way and trust the process, as we say. So being that too, looking on my Instagram page um, and going into, you know, Facebook if you're a Facebooker, because I'm that as well. 
I am certified as a law of attraction life coach. So realistically, all that really means is that I truly believe that there are universal laws that help and that do govern, govern the world, right? So the easiest one, I usually only work with the top seven, but the easiest one is the law of polarity. You can't have yes without no. You can't have up without down. Every culture knows it, yin and yang, you know, like, so it's no different with the, with a river. The river can flow down, but you always will try and like, and then you can paddle up, right? Like, so there's up river, down, upstream, downstream. So there's polarity. So aside, the biggest thing about getting in your own way is, I'll describe it like this. And this isn't coming from me. This is coming from a very wise um, collective. I'll say a collective conscious. Now you're all, now like I'm going out of realm a little bit, but uh, don't worry, my feet are very, very here on the ground. Uh, Abraham Hicks. Abraham Hicks would describe you allowing. So this is another law, the law of allowing. Okay. If you, okay, so let's say it's uh, you want, that guy all right or you saw this guy right and you said maybe you've said hello whatever if anything is meant to be it will be it will be you can't force anything to be you can force things to happen but does the end result always end up turning out the way that you want it i don't know maybe sometimes it will sometimes it won't but by it. So the other example would be using a river, and let's say you're you want to go up the ladder in success. Okay, we always think going up, right? Going up a ladder, or going mm -hmm. getting ahead is going up. So if you are in the stream and you're paddling to get to the top of the stream, right? And you're in your canoe, and you're paddling and you're going against the current and you're paddling so hard and you're doing everything right and you're eating some protein bars along the way and you're getting more energy and you're getting smarter and you're thinking and you're paddling, you're paddling, you're working so hard to get there. Yet you're not getting there nearly as fast as you want, right? Because you're trying almost what we would say too hard. If you just pulled your paddle, put it in the canoe, took a deep breath, and allowed your canoe to go with the flow. The universe already knows what you want. They, they've heard you. They can see what's happening. They know your intention. And if you just go with it, you will actually get, maybe not to the exact destination where you were headed, but you're going to get to the right destination. You're going to get to where you're supposed to be. So no different than H have squared two today. She finally got to a place. <laughs> she's got like 20 today. names. She's got I know, like 20 she's names since we started. I know, she's it's a like, mom. I love it. She's the, she came here it. and she's been adopted and has 20 names now. And, oh, yeah, uh, she's totally in adopted. Order for, in order for someone to find you, they would need to go to at h.e.l.yacoach. So that's H E L. Yeah, coach. Um, so, in order to find Hell her, yeah. you, will, you will find her on um, Instagram. You are also, as you mentioned, on Facebook. Uh, but I want to segue and pivot to something before uh, we have to uh, close the show out. Are you ready? This is something that you, of course, had no idea I was going to do. This is uh, a kind of a random game that I often play with my guests, in which I take their Instagram page and postings that they've made that I find quite interesting. And, um, oh. well, you get to, we get to talk about uh, them because uh, all of these shows that uh, we put on here at Rhythm Entertainment Productions are educational and entertaining, uh, but you get to meet the person behind the bio, behind the page. And uh, Heather is someone worth uh, working with and uh, getting to know. She has an amazing sense of humor, and she's very discerning and insightful as well. Uh, she doesn't have to agree with me. She just has to be humble and go like, oh, yes, me? Oh, no, not me, Paxton. Oh, no, me. Thank you, Paxton. Um, here we go. Uh, okay. This is a posting that's dated June 9th. 
And it says, do it afraid. Action mm. breeds confidence and courage. Now, this segment that we're doing together is entitled uh, Take Action or Taking Action um, is the hashtag for it uh, that I, I'm going to be posting for the show. Uh, so Do It Afraid is the post. It says action breeds confidence and courage. Now, in, in the comments, you okay. wrote this. Uh, inaction breeds doubt and fear. Action breeds confidence and courage. If you want to conquer fear, do not sit home and think about it. Go out and get busy. Now, that came from Dale Carnegie, uh, the mm -hmm. original post and the original words. But these words you posted for all of social media to see on your page. Why did mm. you do that? What was the purpose? Because I have lived exactly that statement where, as I told you, later in my life, all of a sudden, I'm second guessing myself. I'm being fearful. I'm like, I can't walk into that room with all those people, you know? And I'm like, oh my God, when I was 25, I would have marched right on in there and been like, I didn't, you know, blah, blah, blah. So my shield, my mask, Mm -hmm. is was 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 broken it was almost like seeping through and and i i wasn't understanding what was going on so by allowing myself to just breathe and finally walk out and just do it just by doing it afraid by like you don't go and do anything new without some apprehension some tension some <laughs> level of fear or being scared but after, it's like, okay, so I also host a youth group. We went rock climbing. Mm -hmm. Half of them are like, yeah, whatever. I'm never getting to the top. Fear, mm -hmm. you know, fear of heights, whatever it may be. Did every single buddy, every single person get to the top and ding the bell at the top of the, the rock wall? Of course they did. And how did they feel after they did it? They felt phenomenal. They felt charged. They were like, holy crap, I could do that. But you're not going to know and create more confidence within you, the more that you do afraid, you then gain more confidence because you then realize you actually can do it. And it wasn't nearly as scary as what your internal dialogue made it out to be like. That, that's why I have, to, uh, I have to keep reading what you have uh, on your page. Here's, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, here's another one. This, by the way, I didn't tell you this. You're the first show that I'm doing after taking a few days off. And uh, oh, yeah. I normally do that on purpose. I want certain people I want to do a show with, my first one back. Uh, you were the one that I chose that I wanted to do it with uh, because I knew uh, that you can out-talk me. So, so <laughs> <laughs> Okay, wait, I you do, sound like my husband now. Wait a minute. No, I'm just No, kidding. no, no. Yeah. Some of, I'm hey, just and my, fa my father used to, my, I used to, I used to say, Dad, I don't understand. You know, you know the answer to this and that. Why you don't say anything when mom, sa when mom says this? He says, you know, you, you, that's my wife. Don't worry about it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was with her longer before you came along. He said, yeah. it works yeah. one way. If you want to be in love and be in a relationship, do 20% of the talking and let the woman do 80%. He says, hey, be, hey, a real, yeah. be a really good 20% talker and a really great 80% listener. 80 listener you'll you'll yeah. always be a happy man. <laughs> he, said, unless oh, you yeah. have, he said, unless you have a crazy woman, you got a crazy woman. It's not going to work no matter what, but, yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah. you get the right woman. You, you'll be okay. So, I knew our relationship is 2080. We'll be just fine. <laughs> you keep doing your part. I'll do my part. But I listen, this is a posting. I okay. got to read it because okay. read it. everybody, please like, share, comment, follow Heather's page. Uh, the, some really great postings are there. Uh, I'm going to read one of another one right now. Uh, this one's dated May 20th uh, for this year. It says the most attractive accessory a girl can have is confidence. And in uh, the comments, uh, you wrote this. I'm not going to read all of them because it's, it's really good, but uh, I'm going to read mm -hmm. part of it. It says, wear your confidence like you've already won the race. Some days we have it, others we don't. Why is that? What's the deal? You can be doing well in your career or have a family you adore and are proud or have fantastic friends or even be doing well financially. But this is what you write. Every time you try to step out of what you know, somehow you step back in. 
-hmm. You want there to be change in your life. Yet why is it so hard to achieve it? And then you give some other thoughts there, including a workshop uh, that you mentioned to individuals. But why is this type of a post beneficial for many women to hear and know about? Why is this beneficial? I think because so many women and and I, like that that's a huge conversation. I could get into a big conversation there, but I know you, even I know less you can. I know. <laughs> That'll have so, to be part two. But go ahead. That can be part two. <laughs> um, and, but especially let's talk COVID. Everybody agrees. Everybody agrees that the woman per se, you know, family, if you had kids, um, some more so careers, whatever, we did double duty, right? So just in general, a woman, and I, I can't speak for everybody or anything like that, but a woman that can wear confidence, we're all so, and not, that was the wrong way to say that, we are not all, but for Any. a woman to be able to stand in her confidence is a woman who can conquer and do phenomenal great things. Mm. And, and we still, and I'm saying a general we, you guys, don't come on me for, you know, pegging anybody individually, but we can very easily forget about ourselves, mm -hmm. give in, you know, go with the flow, stay in what we know, just to keep everybody happy. But again, if you're not standing in your true you, and you're not really giving everything about how wonderful you are to all the people you've chosen to have in your life, right? right? Mm -hmm. So this is where st a woman who stands in her, and look, let me tell you, if another woman can't handle you standing in your confidence, and again, that's not arrogance. It's just being able to stand in you. Or a man can't handle a confident woman. Well, those are their issues. That has nothing to do with mm. you. We're still Correct. always yes. being honest, respectful, True. polite, pleasant, right? It, it's not arrogance is all of those other things. You know, they're not pleasant and respectful and polite and nice to people. Arrogance. This is just you being a confident female to know that you will be able to raise your kids to be confident young adults because you're confident. You know, or you can have a healthy relationship and sit down and talk to your husband or your partner, you know, um, or whomever you choose have chosen in your life because you have the confidence to be able to sit down as an adult and have an adult conversation. You know, you're not just throwing out a snippet and waiting mm -hmm. for them to snip back and then you're in a fight. Do you know what I mean? Right. It's yeah, yeah, also yeah. a maturity level too, I guess is what you're saying. I'm saying. Yes. And if you're willing to and want change and you're willing to grow and want change, confidence just comes. It's just this, this thing that just starts to build and you're like, holy crap, you're going to be like, I'm a different, I'm not a different person. I now am actually the person I'm, I've always supposed to be. Or have have always supposed to have so, been. so so Heather you 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 pulled a Shrek you started peeling the onion layers back is that what it was and you had your moments of uh, of crying Me? And peeling yeah oh god yeah. yes you, of yeah, so so now oh. you finally you you finally got to this moment where you made a decision that you talked about before we started the show uh, of letting something go because now it gives you more room to spread your wings and fly the way you really want to fly. I'm not, I Absolutely. didn't want to say what it is because I don't no. know if it's personal or not. I don't want to. Yeah, no, no, no. So before the show, uh, Pacta and I very quickly, I just so that I knew how to get on to, to be in the show with him, we had a quick conversation. And um, um, so I had gone back to oh, through the whole COVID thing too. You know, mm -hmm. I've had clients. Um, my actual coaching practice is still only a year and a half new, you know, mm -hmm. um, as much as I've been coaching, mentoring but in a true practice. So I hadn't flipped the coin as much as I needed. So I, I still had a part-time job, right? So on again, off again, on again, off again, as we open, closed, open, closed up here in Canada too, no different than you guys in the States over this last year and a half, two years. Finally, this last reopening in Ontario, Canada didn't happen until June. You guys were all doing different stuff, but for us where I am was June. I have literally worked every single day, nine to 10 hour days, running this restaurant for these friends of mine 
well, indirectly friends. They're not like close friends. Um, and this is, I wasn't living my heart's desire, my goals, my dreams, my passions, my wants, my life. I wasn't living my purpose, right? So I gave them my notice on Monday. I had the courage to say to myself, this isn't what I want. Now, don't get me wrong. If I were a parent and I'm parenting, I would always say, have something else in place before you, I'm not telling anybody to run off and quit their jobs. Too you late. know, nope, I'm, but, I'm done with now, the show. Come no. on, now, come on. But you know what I'm saying? But you know, this was a discussion my husband and I had to have and you know, blah, blah, blah. And I, he knew I wasn't happy and I had to stand in my truth. I had to stand in my, myself. So that's, you know, I, I practice because I've walked it or I talk it because I've walked it. I, I would never, if, if somebody came to me with something that I wasn't familiar with, I will find you the phenomenal coach that's in that niche to get you where you need to be. Since that's the case and, and uh, there's just, I've got to get this in and, and here we go. Um, this, I hope aligns with what you just said. Because it's a posting you made. Mm -hmm. And you made this posting March 2nd. And it reads this way. The biggest comeback is making yourself happy again. Yep, I'm going to hit the repeat on that. The biggest comeback is making yourself happy again. Amen. And then, and then in the comments, you wrote this. Again, I'm not going to read all of them. They're, they're, they're extensive. And just for time's sake, I'm not. But do yourself a favor and go uh, like, share, comment, follow Heather's page. In the comments, you said this. Happiness and joy are our ultimate goals. Tired of hearing everyone on here saying you can have it all? Well, you can. You just have to believe it and believe in yourself. We say you believe already in yourself, or rather you say that. A person can say that. Well, who are you really? Essentially, what are you really believing in if you don't even know yourself yet? Mm -hmm. The okay. reality is, well, you say this. You've got to start here, back at the beginning. Truly find you. That's essentially what you're saying you just experienced. Mm -hmm. Once you rekindle that love for real, not fake, but for real, then you'll know you can have it all because you are worthy to have it all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whatever you put your hand to, you will have success only if you know, well, who's attached to that hand. If you don't know yourself, yeah. you yeah. don't even know where to put that hand. Yeah. So, so yeah. it's interesting the way that you're describing what you personally have just gone through, discussing mm -hmm. this with your husband, uh, looking at all the ripple effects from your decision, but knowing that you need to make a decision. Or in other words, what I get from you and why I wanted you on the show is you're a person that's telling individuals more than just confidence, more than just a positive mindset, essential oh, yeah. in many ways. But you yeah. highlight the importance of literally taking action action yeah yeah you know like there's so much mindset coaching out there right now and it's like okay there's only so much positive thinking you can do but if you don't do anything you know you can't it's like people think manifesting something you know like the law of manifesting that's a law you can't just sit and think about it and want it and wish it to happen you still let's get reality here folks you still have to take action Small steps even. It's nothing grandiose and huge. Just small steps every day to get to where you want to be. And any, any Warren Buffett or multi-billionaire will tell you the same thing. They all took, you know, steps to get there. Yeah, um, a, now that I put into a monetary, you know, a monetary frame idea, but uh, under, understandable. whatever it is. Understandable. Yeah, whatever we, it is. We have, uh, we have talked 56 minutes. Uh, thank you for being the first person I could do a show with uh, from my three or four days off and uh, getting back into the groove much. again. Uh, um, yeah. We are far from not ever doing something again. There are other things that I have in mind to do. You will know that as time goes on. Uh, but I do want to say this. 
Um, like, share, comment, follow Heather's page if you find her to be the person that helps you find that motivation to take action and not just talk about it, but to, you know, well, you know, do the walk, right? <laughs> Don't, yeah. Right? It actually yeah. walk that path. When it comes yeah. to uh, getting to know you, I've come to appreciate this about you. You're very funny. <laughs> no, you're very funny. But, That's why but we you're hit it funny, off. Your funny is like bacon. It, it goes with everything, but if you're not careful, you'll miss that you really mean what you say. <laughs> so, I do. So you I have do. a great yeah. laugh. You have a great sense yeah. of humor. But, uh, you know, that's just, it's not even masking. It, it It's letting people know that you enjoy life. But underneath that, you mean what you're talking about. You firmly, yeah. wholeheartedly want people to be happy and grow. You're a, you're 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 like an emotional fertilizer. Take that the wrong way if you want to, but don't. But I'm just no, I, I know I'll, I can say that to you I without you getting mad. That wherever, like I love it. It's, it's like, like if you put yeah. put you where something's not growing, it's gonna. You come back to check on it periodically and give it enough water. It's gonna start growing because you're you're gonna make it grow the right way. Hey, as long as you can spread your wings and something's not in your way, even if it's moldy and fungus, it's still <laughs> okay. growing. It's Why still growing, Coxed, right? Look at you. you. Yeah, see, that's it's the way you look at it. It's still moving forward, right? Yeah. It's still yeah. growing. It's love still it. being I love wonderful. I love and that you know aspect about you as a person. You always look at things trying to move forward and, and yeah. make it work. You're very energetic and productive. And I like that about you so much. And your husband is thank so you. blessed. And others well, that come you. across to you are so blessed. Uh, tell him to make sure to, to keep taking the trash out. And uh, you. Oh, he does. And, I don't and, touch. And, him. Uh, you know, because you know that's our that's our job. You know, we love that's the job. We we take the it's trash the out. Job. That's it's right. Nobody. Job. We kill spiders to I, take the trash out. Yes. Go ahead. Last word. Can I just leave? Go. Can I just leave our viewers and whomever is going to watch this on replay just yeah. with one last thought? Go ahead. One of the best statements that I came across, I did post it, and it's one of my favorites. Your past is not your life sentence. You know, repeating it. Your past is just your past. It is not your life sentence. You have everything in you you need to create and make a beautiful and wonderful life. Absolutely just, beautiful. You're, yeah. you're absolutely a wonderful woman who uh, you have no equal uh, when it comes to the energy level you put out. Um, I don't know what it is about you. You must have been this way as a kid. You had to be. It's I Okay, so I was the bully kid, like I told you. So yeah. I was always, I found myself always then, I naturally found my voice. It was naturally loud, you know, volume-wise. Um <laughs> I I just enjoyed life, I think. I just yeah. always had fun. Like, I was yeah, in, I yeah, in high school. I, I was the tell. partier in university. Yeah. I was the partier, yeah. you know, yeah. all that kind of stuff. Look at um, you. But, right. uh, uh, wait, wait, yeah, wait, wait, I don't are you, know. We children Are your children around? They're going to be hearing about how much you were a partier? No, you know what? <laughs> I was not. I wasn't blessed with my own. I wasn't. Oh, and okay. that actually. Well, then, no, come on. Give us the only, dirt, then. Well, no, we want to. Yeah, no, that's no, why it, it wasn't by choice, <laughs> no. but it was by choice. Like I could physically have kids. I was okay to have children, but this is, I was blessed with wonderful parenting. I, you know, not everyone okay. was, I was blessed with wonderful parenting. They're not, they're, they're both since gone, but, um, being a career woman coming from uh, an environment, I was born in 1967 y'all. So I was that you're first. Still a baby. You're still a baby. I, okay, fifties. What? Book. Whatever. You're probably sixty-two. <laughs> anyway, point being is, we were that generation, us born in the sixties and early seventies, where all these women were fighting for equal rights, bra burning. You know, like women, women, women. So where I came from, you had to go to university and succeed in something or career. Blah 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 blah. So most of my friends and us. We weren't even. You know when the music marriage. plays, that means the so show's we coming like, to an end. I know. Stop. You know when the music so plays. I know it's the like the coming. Grammys. This is awful. Anyway, <laughs> point is, um, yeah. So we were forced to career it and uh, didn't have kids because I couldn't find a guy that was as wonderful as my dad. That said to me once when I was thirty, 
I married your mom for better or for worse. I am here. I brought you into this home. I would never leave you. I am always here for you. And I, because of the dinks I picked until, and that's another story. I picked all the dinks that sounds because like of my own too. reasons, but put it on to somebody else, right? Until I found now, finally, the guy to have the mature relationship with. I didn't trust any of them once kids came that they honestly would be here for better or for worse. Wow. And life happened. I started my nonprofit instead, helping all kinds of kids, you know, my charitable organization, blah, 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 blah. So kids were you, meant to be you in know what life. I, you know what I'm going to give you? I'm going to give you this. What's that? Wait, wait, not once. You need to I get cheered that, twice I've heard because that before. You, you have endured the open session podcast show with Paxton. You, and, you know, a lot, a lot of people, not a lot of people want to even experience uh, what you just did. You've become this open book to all of social media. So you have to come back for part two. But I have to tell you, on the screen, uh, we have Shay Shay 3178 that joined us uh, uh, Vaughn McKinney uh, passed through, or hopefully still here, and others. Uh, Wakabumi, uh, Baby Lee, who was also a guest here on the show. Uh, uh, your your cohort in crime, Heather, uh, says this. We have actually gone an hour and three minutes. Uh, we've been spending time together, which has been amazing. But I got to read to you what she says here on the screen. She says, I just got chills. The biggest comeback is making yourself happy again. Um, manifestation includes actions. Yes. I uh, have lived that lately and really see it happening. You have sparked conversation and uh, hopefully made some new friends here, uh, but you're not Thanks. done. We're going to be uh, ending the show now, but uh, our connection is going to go well beyond this because I want you to, to be able to get an opportunity to come to the Narc Abuse TV uh, network platform uh, where we can talk about relationships and having confidence in relationships. Uh, but uh, that's just a heads up. To. Uh, I was going to tell All you right. that in private, but I'm just throwing it out All to you right. in front of everybody. We've gone sure. one hour and four minutes. I try not to go past an hour and five minutes because I'm old and I need to go take a nap. This is free TV, uh, uh, free podcasting here on, on Instagram. Uh, you have been an amazing person. I, I just well, I thank like you. you. I've I had like a lot your of energy. fun. I, like I love your the energy. energy of the show. It's but I want to I want to yeah. get I want to get to next time we get together I want to get to that aspect of your parents and the way you mm -hmm. approach the relationships and I want that because there's so many that are still learning uh, how to navigate relationships because they didn't come from a two parent home uh, as yeah. it were um, Very and so anyhow I, I want to be able to do that we'll we'll talk yeah. we'll talk when we're yeah. able to to make that happen maybe maybe Sounds we can good. do that in September or October depending on our schedule. But uh, thank you for being a beautiful woman, grounded, down to earth, uh, who really cares about people. I will have to say goodbye for now, everyone. Uh, and thank you, everybody that was here. Please like, share, comment, follow Heather's page. Heather, tell everyone your page, please. What is your Instagram page, please? Uh, you can find me at at Hell Yeah Coaching. And Hell Yeah, because like, hell yeah, we can do this, <laughs> is H dot E dot L dot Y A and then coach. So you, C O A C H. You are, you are an amazing, energetic woman so. who deserves to be recognized for all of the work that you've done. You're a good person, and uh, the Thank planet's you. a better place with uh, a better place because of people like you who are not pushovers. And uh, you're getting some love on the screen. Hearts uh, from nice, your full heart, I Heather. Thank and you, uh, everyone. you're getting a gay Heather those. and others that are here for so, you. Uh, authentically, awesome. authentically, Shug. Uh, who's been on our show as well. Thank you for passing through. We're going to end the show today. We have literally gone one hour, uh, five minutes, and 53 seconds. And this is when I say I love each and every one of you. Bye for now. We will be back tomorrow on Narc Abuse TV Network with Dr. Scott. So join us over there on that platform. Heather, don't change a thing. You're beautiful. I as won't. You. I promise. Take care. Thank you. See you soon. All Thank right. you. Thanks bye -bye. for having me. Bye-bye.